Welcome to the Drunken Upholster. Today we're going to talk about furniture buttons and how to make them in two different ways. Oh, that's great. First way is with a die. If you have a die, there's various sizes. You do need a kind of special equipment for that. And if you don't have that and you, you just want to make a button, you save the old one and I'll show you how to cover that. All right, so let's get started then. Hmm. This is the type of button uh, we're gonna make today. Just a regular upholstery furniture button. It's got a loop on the bottom and a cap for the top, do fabric over that. And there's various and sundry sizes. This is a 22, a 30, 36 and a 40 but there are others and they get bigger and you can do all kinds of things with them and normally uh, the bottoms there's two different types of bottoms to tie to I personally like these here the little loops is kind of big and it's hard to get it to bury into the fabric these hide themselves better in the fabric but they both work well there's also, uh, this is in the number 22 size. Instead of using the loop, you can use this piece here, which has a hole in it. And you could put a nail in it. Or you could put a tack in it. Then you just put this little piece of cardboard on it and the, and the cap. And you've got yourself a button. And some applications, there's solid wood that you have to nail to. To put the button in place so you can do it that way there's also this the fabric and that goes on the cap cap goes over that you just poke it right through your fabric goes into this or one very similar and you spread them out and it's in place like that so mechanically those are the ones that pretty much what you do there are other kinds that their special needs but these range you know from a hundred hundred fifty dollars a set maybe even more depending what you're getting um, and I'll also show you how to do it with low cost just with a needle a thread and the fabric you're going to use you save your old button and you'll be covering that over so I'll show you that as well so our next step is we're going to take the number 40 and we're going to make a button just like this one. Okay, we get some strength, courage. Let's go. Okay, first thing we do to make buttons, we have a sip of beer. Hmm. All right, the second is we've got to cut the fabric so it will make the cap. It's going to end up looking like this which will then go over the cap. So you don't want to ruin your cutter. So you cut on a pad like that, which goes into the press. You get a few layers of fabric. Always cuts better, the more layers it seems. Put your cutter on there, slide it under there, and give it the big push. Make sure, oop, uh, you want to be careful not to spill the beer, okay? Then you've got your, your, your circles here. Sometimes they're like that. Just give it a little snip and you're good to go. All right, so we set that aside. And what we're going to do is you put the bottom with the loop into this piece of the die. It goes there. Then for the cap, you put the fabric on there. You got to find the good side. Make sure you got the good side. And that the good side is going down. The cap is going on it. And then got this little piece of dowel I use to center it and then push it in. And then this will go on top. And you just go down with it, get it all the way down. Give it an extra tap, and you should have a button. There you go. 
a nice button ready to go on to your piece of furniture. All right, now I'll show you next how to do it uh, with a needle and thread so you don't have to spend 250 on a press and 100 and something on the dies. Okay. All right, now the inexpensive way of covering a button if you don't want to spend a couple hundred dollars on a press and dies is to get your new fabric and save your old buttons when you take them off. And you're going to roughly figure how much you're going to need to go over it and allow you to stitch it. Because we're going to stitch it right around the bottom and pull this in like that with a slip knot. Okay. So you get your needle and thread. You can do it with a straight needle, curved needle, whatever you want. Just make sure your thread's long enough to go around. Then you're just going to take a little bit of a pinch. You're going to go through that, another little pinch, go through that. Another little pinch. Another little pinch. tight against the old button as tight as you can work your way back so that where you started I think I got it pretty good and you can make a slip knot What it does, it pulls the fabric around the button and then you tie it off and just cut the excess fabric off. And you know, you, you got yourself a, a button. That you can use. Just be careful not to cut your threads. And you know, you're pretty good. And when you pull it down, you just put your new button twine in there, pull it through, and it should work for you. You should be uh, good to go, and you can. It's not easy, it's a pain in the neck, but it's a lot easier than, a lot cheaper than spend hundreds of dollars on a machine. All right, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, subscribe, like us, and keep yourself into the beat, okay? Do, do, do. Yeah, this is unusable. <laughs>